Hello, gorgeous. What is the relationship with your body? What is the relationship with your womanhood? These questions are at the core of understanding ourselves on a deeper and more intimate level. And they invite us to reflect on how we can connect with our physical and emotional selves and recognize that our womanhood, our bodies, and our lives are actually intertwined. My name is Jessica Angelari. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. This is the channel where we speak about all things related to the feminine, embodiment, sensuality, and love. And today I'm speaking about your womanhood and what is the relationship with your womanhood. It's essential to understand that your womanhood matters and developing a love language with your body matters. Trusting the wisdom, the emotions, the sensations that your body speaks to you matters and taking space to be with this in your daily life is so important. The journey that you've been on is held within your body. So you carry all of your memories within your body, within your cells, within your womb, and not just your experiences either, but also those of your mother and the women who came before you. So you carry the lineage within you and understanding your mother's path and her relationship with her own body and how she connects with her womanhood can often give us some insight in how we learn about our own womanhood and our connection with the body. It can show us as well how we learn about giving and receiving, how we learn about rest and nourishment. And if this is something that we feel guilty about, we can also learn about through our mothers just by observing the way that she is with her own energy and her feminine energy, we can understand how connected we are with the energies of our womb space, the center of our creations, the center of our feminine. We hold experiences and stories of our lineage in our body and their experiences and trauma as well can impact our lives and shape how we live today and how we have our relationship with ourselves. It shapes our nervous system, how safe we feel in our capacity to receive and to soften and to allow ourselves to trust our own guidance. For me, for most of my life, I felt very anxious. I never felt the security that I desired. And so I never felt that I really belonged anywhere, but really the feelings of not feeling like I belonged was because I hadn't really belonged to myself. And so I was seeking validation for my own guidance and desires and intuition outside of me. When I started to work with my womb space energetically, I asked myself a question, who before me felt this way? Was this just me? Am I alone in this? And this not only gave me so much more insight about my lineage and why I may be disconnected or disassociated from my body and what I need, what my body needs, but it also allowed me to have more compassion for my own mother, for other women who, have, who haven't walked this path, and my grandmother as well, because there has been centuries of repression and abuse and disassociation with the feminine principles that our ancestors and grandmothers have experienced, and they've passed this down to us from womb to womb. And yes, we can carry this within our bodies as well, and, and it can influence the way that we relate to ourselves and our body and also others and how we walk into relationships. So as you can see, we are physically, emotionally, and spiritually impacted by the experiences of our ancestors. So we're so connected with them. So we carry not only our own burdens, but we also carry those of our mothers, our grandmothers, and even the collective experiences of women through this lifetime and through history. 
And these burdens can manifest as physical symptoms, emotional struggles, energetic blocks in the body. It's no wonder why so many women feel numbed and why they feel stressed and why that has been our norm, I suppose, and why so many women have felt so much dis-ease in the body and pain, especially during sex or menstrual cycle. But the thing is, we have to know when you work with the womb, you clear old imprints and you create a new programming for not only this lifetime, but you do it for other generations as well and for, for years to come. So when we engage with our bodies and we when we release what we've been holding, we make space for healing and transformation. And yes, we open more space for pleasure, for bliss, for joy, for love to enter. And pleasure is not just an indulgence. It's a powerful tool for healing. It allows us to reconnect with our bodies because it asks us to become more present. It helps us to celebrate our womanhood and what our womanhood and what our bodies are capable of feeling and holding. And it also opens our capacity to experience life fully. Our bodies are sacred vessels that hold both our stories and old wounds as well as power. And when we honor that, we unlock the potential for profound change to occur. So imagine what a world that we would live in if we women knew what we could actually create and the potential there. We are in a great awakening, I believe, and we are called forward to birth a new era. And it happens through our body, through this connection, because here is where we realize the love that we are and we are these portals of love. So no matter how many triggers show up in your day, you will never be able to work them all out as well. This is something that dropping into your feminine invites us to feel into. Sometimes our body will want to feel it all and then and that's it. But then sometimes your feminine will want you to work things out. Other times she's asking you to journal or just dance it out and that's it. Maybe to cry. So this isn't about rehashing the past and everything we've been through for the sake of dwelling on it. Instead, it's about recognizing what comes up in our body. And I really believe for us women, when we allow ourselves to just become aware of what is present, no good or bad, this is how we can allow for movement and flow of energy and for those more dense emotions to dissolve as well. So it is about recognizing what comes up in the body and not ignoring that. Whether it's recognizing what emotions are present, what sensations are present, what patterns that shape the way that you relate to yourself and others, are things repeating? Can you notice that? And this happens when we can start to ask, what is the relationship with my body? What is the relationship that you want to have? What do you desire to have in terms of the relationship with yourself? So it is about becoming body literate as well and healing through body sensations. When we also start asking ourselves, well, and where did this come from? Where is this fear or this shame or this discomfort about my body and about my connection with my body rooted? We can uncover such an abundance of insight here. Is this coming from something that is in the present that is calling for my attention? Or is it something that's rooted in the past? Is it something that I've inherited here from my mother, from my grandmother? Am I repeating patterns from things that I've seen in my relationships growing up without even realizing it? Am I repeating patterns here until I wake up to it? And then once you recognize this, it's about coming into compassion for this as well. For many women, this is where a profound sense of awakening begins. 
there's often a moment of realization of, wow, I didn't even know that this was sitting here. I didn't even know that this was this kept showing up for me. And when we come into this discovery of the emotions that maybe that we're holding, the experiences that we hold in our bodies, we also start to open up to more pleasure that we didn't even know that we could access. We start to see love show up, that we love that we can actually feel for our bodies because we're allowing ourselves to go there. We start to have a deeper connection with ourselves. And when we have a deeper, more intimate, loving, vulnerable connection with ourselves, then our relationships become more deepened as well. They become more open to being vulnerable and you feel safe to be vulnerable with your partner. So when you start to develop that love relationship with yourself, speaking to yourself in nourishing ways and you step into nourishing self-care practices, embodiment practices, you also step into a different space with your loved one. You hold space for them differently. You receive them in a different way, in a more present way, without feeling like you have to be on edge or defensive. So you're not just doing this for yourself, but you're doing this for your relationships as well. And that's because you know yourself, you know your energy, you know where your energy is coming from. When we come home to our bodies, when we really understand and connect with what we've been through, both on a personal and a collective level, there's such an immense sense of empowerment here. And this kind of awakening brings us into a place of compassion and love, not just for, our, for ourselves, but for others as well. And we begin to relate to ourselves differently. We also have sex differently because we know ourselves. We know pleasure. We know what we want. We open up differently. We have different kinds of conversations that are feel a little bit more anchored in our integrity. And we even start to receive differently. We start to receive money differently. We heal differently. We interact differently, especially with other women. We might even have different relationships with our own mothers. We learn how to lean back into our boundaries and into ourselves and into our worth. So to experience the fullness and totality of your womanhood is to experience the totality of love. That's what I truly believe. So feeling how love is forever present within us through every heartbeat, every breath in and out, every tingle that you have, every touch that you offer yourself, every moment that you allow yourself to self-soothe, every time you allow yourself to just cry, every time you show up for yourself, every time you listen to yourself, every time you connect with your womb, you are allowing yourself to fully feel and to experience your womanhood. Every time, time you show up for you, regardless of the outcome, because you know whatever happens, you will always be okay. You will always have your own back. To me, this is love. This is stepping into a greater frequency of love. And I think this is exactly what we're all here, here to remember as well, to remember that no matter what happens, you always have your own back. You know that love is always there for you. You know how strong and resilient you are. You know that you are always supported and you know that you are always, always, no matter what, you always have this connection with spirit and the earth. Your womanhood has been through so much, sister, always moving forward, always doing, always penetrating into life, always giving, nurturing, taking care of others, trying to fit in, trying to belong. So what if we just honor that and give so much grace and compassion for what we've gone through, what we've been through? And what if now you were showing up to choose you? to choose another way to nourish your womanhood, to trust what you feel deep within your body, to trust your inner navigation system, to trust that you know what you need to do, that you have all the resources instead of 
asking everyone else around you instead of trying to find logic in things, instead of forcing things to happen, what if you knew you were just so precious, so loved just for being you? I believe that your womanhood is the journey of holding yourself in so much love, in so much safety to come into this receptive state, to trust that your heart knows how to self-heal, to trust your womb that she's here supporting you and guiding you, to give yourself permission as well to allow yourself to enjoy what's here, to allow yourself to feel pleasure. So often we push things to the side and we make excuses as to why you can't enjoy yourself or we make excuses as to why you can't receive that great love. So what if that was what we are here for, to remember how to build that safety within our nurse, nervous systems to receive more, to receive more love, to receive more abundance, to re receive more beauty and bliss and joy in our lives just for being you. As we deepen the relationship that we have with ourselves, we also begin to explore what we truly need in our life and what we desire in our relationships. And we ask, what does love really feel like for me? What does respect look like for me? What does willing willingness to fully engage with life and love look like for me? And these questions are vital because when we show up for ourselves and we show up for ourselves by offering pleasure to ourselves, nourishment to ourselves in a way that honors our values and boundaries and sovereignty, we cultivate the same level of respect and reverence in our relationships with others as well. So we become the energy that we desire to attract. Learning the language of the body is such a simple yet profound practice. It's an awakening. It's a nurturing act of self-love. Your body holds wisdom. Your body holds medicine, a power. It holds your ancient gifts. It holds your unique fragrance in this world. But many of us don't know how to tune into this. So it is a process of turning inward, of coming home to ourselves, beginning to trust the messages that come through, discerning what is mine, what is not, what is fear, what is love. It's easy to avoid this deep work. It's easy to distract ourselves, to numb ourselves, to fall into patterns that keep us from confronting our inner beautiful vast landscapes because we might tell ourselves this is too hard, that I don't have the strength to face these difficult emotions held in the body. But sister, the, the suffering is not yours to carry anymore. Your trauma is not you. The, this emotional weight rests in your body and it's waiting for you to release it, to feel so open and expansive in your natural essence. When we begin to awaken to what we're holding, what we're withholding, even in the most simplest ways, just through our awareness, we start to open and we realize I do have the power within me. I do have the power within me to move through this heartache. I do have the strength within me to move my body and receive into my intuitive guidance. When we allow ourselves to release, we also open up to our desires and more love. When we breathe life into these desires, they come alive. Your life becomes more fruitful. It becomes more expansive. It becomes magnetic to what is truly meant for you. And this is the beauty of alchemizing as well, what's held in the body. The process of release and alchemy is at the heart of the work that I do with women. It's a guided journey grounded in movement, reverence, deep respect for the feminine experience, for pleasure. I'm constantly in awe of the softness that emerges when women connect with their bodies and their pleasure it's beautiful to witness. It's beautiful to see them come alive and just shine and step into their power. And when I witness this, I can feel and sense the release and a relief happen 
there is a, a shedding of a, of layers that happens, a heaviness that lifts. And sometimes women don't even know what they've been holding on to until they feel it actually fall away. Sometimes there are tears. Sometimes there is a profound sense of oh, deep love and rest. I see it, the new restfulness, the peace that flows in when we let go of what has been weighing us down and holding us and contracting us. This release is about more than just feeling good. It's more than just lighting candles and indulging ourselves in self-care rituals. It's This is deep. This is a deep, transformative, healing, self-empowering journey. It's a self-realization of what is possible. And that's what moves through this feeling of ah, rest in the end. All that matters is the relationship that you have with yourself. The relationship that you have with your body is the foundation for everything. It shapes how you experience your womanhood, your relationships, your receiving, your abundance, your creativity. When you turn inward, when you honor and listen to your body and her sensations, you reclaim power. You come home to you. And this is what the real magic is all about here. This is what I love to work in and hold space for with women. And if you'd love to know more about this and how I can support you in this and hold you in this, check out the links below. I'll drop the links to my free program, my group immersion, other temples and my one-to-one -one offerings Thank you so much, gorgeous. I hope this resonated with you. Let me know if, what is your relationship with your womanhood? Is it non-existent? Is it something you're still curious about? Is it a journey you've just stepped into? Is it something you've been doing for a little while now, wherever you is welcome? But I'd love to know. Let's um, share and let's be seen in that and celebrate you. My name is Jessica Angelari. I hope you enjoyed this. If you loved this video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for being here. I'm so deeply grateful for you. All my love to you, beautiful. Thank you. Bye. Mwah.